Well, I guess first things first. I found it. When I came to the model table this morning, I thought it's got to be under there. So I took my spotlight and I shone it around under the table and there it was. It had actually bounced, I'm guessing, three feet or more from where it actually dropped. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, now we got 11. Okay. Uh, yeah, 1036, 1037. I've been uh, up though for quite a while and what I've been doing is well, first of all, I, I know that in, in all likelihood, a lot of you are absolutely sick of hearing me say 8K. In fact, there's probably been somebody who said, if he says 8K one more time, I'm going to quit watching. Well, all I can say is uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I've been trying to figure out how can I <clears throat> on Adobe Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud uh, how, how can I uh, uh, have it so that no matter who wants to watch the video can watch it in the in the best quality that their device will will uh, accommodate in other words I'm, I'm shooting uh, like right now I'm shooting at 4k 60 uh, probably half of you are, are still watching in 1080p, but if you are, you probably are watching it at 1080 and some of you at 4K60, like, like I do. But when I shoot at 8K, the eight, the, my camera right now, until Nikon comes out with their firmware update that they say they're going to, so that I can shoot at 8K60, um, you know, the 8K is only 30. So how, how do I get it so that no matter, how, so that when it uploads to YouTube, no matter whoever's watching, can watch it? Uh, in other words, uh, if, I, if, I have the, if I have the software set, like that, that, that last episode, what was it, 10, 1089-B, uh, you know, where I showed nipping these little photo etch things off, that was only 30 frames a second. Now I don't know if, if YouTube will allow 8K 60. It could be that it's just, there's just, it's just too, too much for them to handle. I'm experimenting with that today. So I spent about two hours doing things like clicking on the little microphone in Google and saying things like, how do I fade out audio in Premiere Pro? Or something like that. And then up will come a whole bunch of suggestions. And maybe you're lucky and you'll get somebody who'll tell you how to do it in a minute or less, like I actually found somebody. And, and you, you, know, you click on this, you click on that. And, and yeah, it, it, once you know what, to, what, what it's called, <clears throat> you know, uh, it, it, they, they don't give it simple names. They'll give it uh, fancy, technical, Hollywood editing type names, you know, which is fine. It's a professional program, and it's it's not it's not there. It's not uh, Adobe's fault. It's my fault, uh, and and I'm I'm slowly getting it. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I spent a good two hours this morning doing that, and right now at this moment, my computer is rendering out a combination of of uh, 8K 30, 4K 60, and my title. Uh, oh, you know that nice the nice title where I thunk my cup cup down and it collapses. I kind of like that. I don't think I can do that in Premiere Pro. Uh, well, maybe I can, but it's, hey, it's not about the title. It's about the model ship, right? Yeah, and it's kind of hard to believe right now with all this talking about uh, videoing. Uh, anyway, uh, let, let, let's let's get on here and uh, and. Uh, See, we can, uh, I'm going to use the medium, CA medium, uh, to glue the photo etch onto the plastic. I think it's going to work pretty good. I might use the uh, curing agent here to speed things up. And uh, who was it su who suggested using the one of these things for, was it Tennessee Jim? 
Anyway, it, this works really good, and it does not plug up. The, the the curing agent does not gel or 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 cure or form a little thing on the end so that it doesn't work. It's very seldom do I have to uh, take the uh, uh, cigarette lighter to the end of it and burn it off. It's not like CA glue. It's uh, I I don't know if it's uh, losing its potency though because it does seem that it doesn't seem to instantly uh, solidify the CA glue. But it helps. And, other, and what I'm trying to say is, this thing works really good for the curing agent. Does not work any more than maybe 24 hours on the, on the CA glue itself. It just cures inside the needle and just doesn't work. And in fact, it, it works its way right up into the, into the syringe part. And you'll have a, a solid piece of, uh, of CA. So don't think you can use it on, on the... With, you see a glue in one of these well you can momentarily uh, like like I say 24 hours is about all you're going to get have I beat this to death let's let's uh, move on here okay I've got myself all set up here and I use this uh, frog tape to uh, put down on the blocks and <laughs> It's it's slowly letting go, so maybe that was the wrong tape to use. I might have just wasted that, but anyway, I guess we could go ahead and do one here. Show you what I sort of got in mind. Okay. I don't think it's going to take very much, just, just a little bit on there. Okay, now if I can get this on square to start with. Uh, something like that. Let me have a little look here. Maybe if I was to squeeze it with the tweezers here. Or it could be that it's already set and it's not going to move. Well, I think that I think that would probably be all right. Now, the, my thinking is now, now, I, now I'll take it and uh, and, and one, one of these uh, ends you might say it's going to have to be the sorry about my fingers here okay so so one of these ends here has got to be the bottom because this thing is is supposed to go this way i believe on the ship somewhere so now this block can also be used for when we spray it and a person wouldn't want to push it down too hard because the blue tackle sort of ooze up around the bottom the, ba the base of it but I think something like that's probably pretty good and it's not going to blow over okay I'll just do that uh, nine more times now but what am I going to do about this because what's going to happen is uh, you know this is going to sort of you know get caught in the wind from the airbrush so uh Okay, I have reinforced our masking tape around the edges.
maybe it'd be a good idea to just uh, leave this like this for for a while and then stand them on their ends later. Makes sense to me. You know what? I should be putting on the macro lens. Pretty much right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Let me try that technique. Okay, this is the last one. I think I got most of them pretty well, much the same as the one you're seeing right now. <laughs> Looking in the monitor when everything is backwards, it's really hard to rotate something around so that you can see it. Okay, I think we better uh, give these a little bit of time. I, I know that I was saying that I, I'd use the curing agent, but then I didn't do it. So uh, I want to give these an hour or two. In fact, overnight would probably be the best because this uh, medium that I mixed up here, it uh, seems to cure kind of slow. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to have to be doing a bunch of repair jobs here. So... We've got this little box done. That means we've we've done this row now. Um, so now we've got three different kinds of guns going on here. This first one here, I think it's called a a quad gun because there's four there's four actual guns. You know, if if you want to see a really good picture of of one of these, you know, a, a real one, um, in the model ship club that I'm a member of. Um, on the cover page 
the Facebook page is uh, a really good picture. Now, I'm full of good intentions, and I say things like, uh, uh, if I think of it, I will uh, put a, uh, a link in the description in today's video of, you know, and, and then I forget. But I'm going to try and remember. If you want to see one of these, in today's video's description at the bottom, it should, it should be a link. And you just click on it, it'll take you right there. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, let's, uh, what time we got here? Nine minutes after one. I think we have time to get some more parts. Okay, I well remember making this on the uh, model hood. It's quite possible that it's the exact same, exact same die and everything. I guess it might be a little bit different. And we got something very fragile here. We don't want to break off. Okay, it looks like uh, both of these guns are on the Q sprue. So. Uh, Let's get to nipping. Okay. Um, you know, I'm thinking here that maybe in order to be able to do a good job and not feel rushed at this, I'm going to do our nipping in tomorrow's episode. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.